You've got a dog that's been excessively licking your paws, excessively licking your skin. Is there some kind of wipe that you can use that works? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a DIY homemade dog wipe for your allergic dog. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. These wipes, they're super convenient. You know, for example, having a dog that's successfully licking in between her pads. Here's a pretty popular one. Seems like a pretty good one. It's hypoallergenic. It's got vitamin A, C, and E. Many of these commercial wipes, they have other ingredients that you really do not want your dog ingesting. Sure, it's got those healthy vitamins, A, C, and E, but it also has PEG-7 glycerol cocoitate, sodium benzoate, polysorbate 20, Personally, I think you're far better off not giving your dog these questionable, potentially toxic ingredients, making something yourself. So in today's homemade wet wipe recipe for dogs, we have We're starting with water, one cup. Apple cider vinegar. It is a wonderful antifungal, also antibacterial. We're gonna be using four tablespoons. Aloe vera, it's a great topical anti-inflammatory. We're gonna be using four tablespoons of it as well. Coconut oil, it's a great oil to soothe the skin. It's also antibacterial. I warmed it up in the stove so it's into a liquid state. I'm gonna be using two tablespoons of it. Next, we're gonna be using a soap. It's Castile soap. This is the 100% natural soap based on olive oil, coconut oil, etc. Want the soap in there so we can help clean the skin, remove, remove any excess debris, removing some of that bacteria. Really helps with our dogs that have allergies. I'm gonna be using two tablespoons. Last but not least, we're using lavender essential oil. It's a great natural antibacterial. It's a great natural antifungal. It also has some antihistamine type quality, so it can decrease that level of itchiness. With this over a cup and a half of fluid, we're going to be adding in 20 drops of lavender oil. Now we have it all mixed together. You can see it's got that funky white color. That's what happens when you add in the Castile soap, and it comes in contrast with that apple cider vinegar. Totally normal. It is a great option though, being a wet wipe. So now how do you create the wipes? Well, you need to start out with this, ta-da! We bought ourselves some paper towel. What I'm doing is folding about 10 or 15 sheets of the paper towel up on itself. I'm gonna cut these in two. Okay, so we have our own personalized wet wipes. Then I'm just gonna pour over my container, just saturate our paper towel with some of our fluid. Okay. As you can see here, being all well absorbed. Here's our homemade wet wipes. They're definitely very saturated. Maybe I went over the top as far as fluid. I just ripped open, tore off one strip. So here it is, the homemade wet wipe. What I wanna know is if I do wipe Pippi's paws, so it is, seems a really good way to get a whole bunch of fluid in here. So I've got the apple cider vinegar. I've got that aloe, which is so good as far as being anti-inflammatory. Add in the lavender, the Castile soap, and the coconut oil. Okay, so her paws are nice and clean. And if you had a dog that was just super licking his paws and you wanted to try something topically, it definitely is more convenient using this wipe. And I was able to really clean her paw as well. So I can actually say it's working well as a cleanser, huh? Now, the question here is, will she start licking that paw? This here is the paw that we just cleaned. She's licking the counter, but you're not licking your paw, Pipster. Which is kind of the point of this story. Hmm. Wow. I mean, you're still licking, but you're not licking the area that you were. Just kind of what we wanted to happen in the first place. I think we have a success. 
Once you've done your wet wiping, you wanna keep your wipes lasting nice and moist. We've got a seal container. You can seal that. Ta-da. Oh, and there you have it. Homemade wet wipes. It was actually pretty easy. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of the DIY Dog Wipes for Dogs. Click up there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.